All right. <clears throat> so we are ready to start turn five. Um, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I did not use my artillery strike that I earned on turn four. Uh, so I brought that back down to zero. But as you can see, my navel, or my navel as it is, um, still sits at two points. That's because I've gotten those two naval events. Um, now, the rules state that you can't keep more than two units, or can't keep more than two uh, uh, points of naval or artillery, and that the points that you get on turns two, four, and six, you have to use that turn. I used the naval point I got on turn four. I did not use the artillery. I lost the artillery, artillery, but I can keep the naval points that I got in the two events. So that's good. I have those at my disposal right now. I really have nothing I can use them on other than maybe, you know, attack, support. But I think I'm going to save them because I'm going to need them to bomb the snot out of Suribachi and, and the other uh, fortification uh, areas. And I might pick up a, uh, a naval uh, requirement on a depth marker somewhere. So um, no, no real need to use them right now. Um, the other thing is... This is the turn that I get my 4th Division Artillery. I get two big fat points of 4th uh, Division Artillery on turn 5. Now, if you remember, I think it was the very first turn, or the very first event that I did, I got, uh, it said that one artillery point gets delayed, basically, till the next morning. So, that said, I get two now. I'm going to get on turn six, I'm going to get three more in the fourth, seven in the fifth, and turn nine, I get the full complement of uh, artillery so that each, the fourth and the fifth, will all have ten points of artillery that can be reused turn after turn after turn. So this just delays one point. It's not a big deal. Uh, and I can't see myself using two points for anything on this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and take that now and just, you know, I've got my reminder here to... Um, to take it again when when turn take take the bonus point or whatever uh, when turn seven hits, so I'm actually going to move that R over here. Um, and it was up here. All right, so I put my I got my one point of fourth division artillery. I'm going to put my artillery used marker uh, right there to signify that I haven't used any, and then I move my little reminder token here over to over turn seven. So that hopefully I will remember to give myself that point that I had subtracted from here. I think that's how I'm supposed to do that. That's how I'm doing it. All right. That said, uh, I think that's all the housekeeping. Uh, let's get to the landing phase, shall we? Let's see what we got here. We got a couple of we've got a couple of uh, stacks that are coming into this very congested area. We got the rest of our engineers coming in wherever they really want. Got one stack coming in here, and that's wide open, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and I got one tank coming in. And then these guys, I got a heavy weapon, I got a tank, and I got another stack that's going to actually come into blue two for the first time um, on turn six. And then I also get fifth, fifth artillery points then. All right, so let's see what happens. First stack here. Uh, we got a drift right. We got yellow uh, a diamond. All right, so yellow is taken. So, no hits, but I have to drift one right. All right, I have to drift my diamond to the right. So this guy's coming in here. I've got my heavy weapon stacked there. All right, I'll just disrupt him for being overstacked over there. And I think these guys, because I want them to come in and be near their buddy, uh, they'll come in here and I'll disrupt one of them. Now, he's going below a guy that's been disrupted last turn because of overstack. I don't know how that works. I mean, is this guy a green disrupt and this guy's a yellow disrupt, light and dark? Or are they both in the same? I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do this. We'll put a yellow over this guy and a green over that guy. And I hope that that's the way I'm supposed to do it. Alright, so that means these guys are going to come into this overstack area here. 
Uh, oh, I got a drift left. All right, so that is going to be a purple triangle. There's no purple there and drift left. So my triangle unit is going to drift to the left. He's going to come over here uh, and he'll be overstacked there. Still don't want them going here because black will tear them apart. And then these guys will come in here, and I think because I want the top guys to move. I want, I mean, they've been stuck there for a little while. These guys are fresh, they're new. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disrupt them. So I'll put them on the bottom. Let's see what I have here. Uh, I got all the step lot. And again, I got this guy that's disrupted last turn. So I guess these guys get disrupted like that. And now the stack is about eight or nine chits tall which scares me because I know that my, ah, I already did it. My fat fingers are gonna bump into it and knock them all over the place. All right, so that's that. Now we got our engineers, uh, which can really come in anywhere. Uh, no drift, purple, there's no purple any, in any of these. I should have chosen where I was taking them first. I'm gonna go ahead and I think stick them here as long as I don't have any, I don't think I had any engineers or or, yeah, no, so I'm good there. So I'll put one with these guys <laughs> and I'll make this one even taller and put one with, oh, come on, one with these guys. I don't know why, I just, I like to stack my infantry. I have this order, right? It's gotta be HQ on top, then infantry, then engineering tank. And then maybe I'll pop tank to the top if I know I'm using him for barrage. I don't know if anybody else, well, first, I don't know if anybody else is watching this, but if there is anybody else watching this and you are as anal as, that, as I am about that, then you, know, you have someone who has something in common with you. All right, let's come over here. This one should be easy. Uh, got a blue. Blue position is taken. Not a big deal. No drift. So these guys just come right in. We'll throw those two over there and those two over there. Piece of cake. Now we got our tank. Tank's got a spot, so he should be good. Yellow's an issue. We don't want a yellow triangle. And we got a brown, so we're good. Uh, tanks don't drift. We should be good. That guy will go in there. And engineers. Uh, Let's put them in blue on top of these disrupted units. I guess these guys were overstack disruptions from last turn, so... The, yeah, okay. Alright, so they'll come in. And I got a brown. Uh, we have brown there, but yeah, brown position is taken, so that doesn't matter. Hey, we didn't get any yellows. Sweet. Uh, on all of our landings, so no drift. These guys come in. I'll just plop one there and plop one there. Alright, so that's my landing. I'll get the next phase, guys together and ready. Pop them up there. He's coming to red one. I will get my uh, artillery there. And then that's game turn six. And then uh, game turn seven, I get my heavy weapon 24. My last, my last heavy weapon guy. I don't know what delayed him on the day, but he's coming in in Y or B. So he'll, I'll just put him off the board right there. That's the only guy landing on turn seven. All right. So he's the only guy that'll be able to be hit in the water by the artillery that's going to shell us on turn six. That poor sap. Well, but he's a star, so he won't get hit. So the next, so it's just going to be these knuckleheads on the beach that are in for it on turn six with that artillery. All right, so that's that. Now, uh, moves on to event phase. All right, so we got 220 as a fortification event. Okay, is it, is it before or is it after? Do they go backwards or do they go forwards? I think they go f forward. But then there would be no, let me, you know what? Here I go, checking the rules again. I'll be back. Yeah, so, all right, so this event is 220. Uh, 
There's not a whole lot about events in the rule book other than the descriptions in the back. But here it is. All right. Event section. Use a card, blah, blah, blah. Events. Important. Number of the dates are not, uh, numbers are dates and not game terms. Here's our sentence right here. Each event is valid on its listed event date and all subsequent dates until the next listed date on the card. So that means that this event here, this fortification event, is good on to 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 until this event comes up. So that means there's no event on 219, which is where we are. So that means no event. I'll take it. Because there's more bad events than good events. So if I can avoid an event that'll bring depth or any other crazy thing, then I'll take it. All right, so Japanese fire phase. Uh, all right, so I got black here. I gotta remember to do black first. Uh, so I got this stack here, I believe. Yeah, that's in steady fire. That's the only one out of that group that's in fire range. I got this stack here and this stack here, and I believe this stack here or stack unit stack. Yeah, these guys are all steady fire from that group. So I might take some hits over there. Uh, now let's hope we don't draw the symbol for that one. All right, so we got yellow, red, uh, blue, diamond. And we haven't said anything about this yet. The black, uh, Black lines above the lettered actions means that if they're, when, when the lettered actions are in play, if there is a black position within three hexes of a yellow position that could take this action, the black is going to, the black position is going to take that action instead and the yellow will do nothing. Uh, I made sure I looked at that twice, three times, that, that yellow wouldn't then fire, yellow will do nothing. Yellow will skip its action. So if there's a black position within three spaces of a yellow uh, that is within range of US units, it will take this action. Um, now we don't have to worry about that right now because A, the lettered actions aren't in play yet and B, infiltration isn't even in play until turn 22. So. Um, this will be an ugly card if I got to do black infiltration. Although I don't think they infiltrate if they're in a fortified position. Right? Eh, I'll check it if the time comes. Hopefully this event will never come up for us. Or this card will never come up for us in the fire phase. <laughs> we won't have to worry about it. All right, so uh, black positions, we need to hope that we don't have any diamonds. Uh, that's these guys. Uh... No, we have a triangle. Oh, and this is our one step dude. Ooh. That's the bullet there, literally. Uh, so no no units get hit from that stack there. I gotta move that guy out, but he's disrupted. Because <laughs> he got hit last turn. So this turn he becomes undisrupted. And then yeah, I think I mean it's time to start moving in. I got one more turn before I can hit Surabachi, so I'm gonna need to start moving some units over so we can start taking Suribachi so some other guys are going to have to get in fire range uh, so that they can take that so that guy doesn't get lost all right and then we come over here uh, and we're looking for diamonds look at that we got a diamond sweet so he takes a hit uh, hit disrupted and this is our light phase so that sucks because I can't use him for the assault on this guy all right all right so there are four there so I can take a maximum of four hits if I have more diamonds I'll bet you I got a diamond in here uh, I did not use another triangle that's right triangles have been coming up way too often so my triangle units are getting slaughtered so that's good news all right, so that's it for the black positions. Let's look at yellow. Uh, da, 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 da. No yellow here. We have our little buddy here who came back into the fray. I think that's the guy, right? Is that the elite unit that came in? I think so. 
Uh, yeah, because I think he came there, and that meant I was able to move in the green because there's no more units in reserve. So that guy's gonna shoot. I got a bunch of people in intense field of fire. So we'll see if we have any four-step. Uh, I don't think so. There's a diamond, but he's a three-step. So I think that means priority is closest, and then highest step count, and then uh, symbol. Yeah. That's not good. Because that means this guy here, my full strength dude, takes a hit, becomes disrupted, and I cannot use him to attack. Ah! Ah! Good golly! They need, to make, they need to make the boards like twice as big so you got more room for these little things. So you can get your f fingers in between them and not knock them all over the place. Alright, so that happened. And that is it for yellow. That guy's too far away. Red. This guy right here. I don't think he's fired before. And we got steady field of fire here. He's the closest. So if there's any... Uh, yep, look at that. There's a diamond. That, where are you? Over here. There's a diamond on that stack. Uh, yeah, and I've been off camera. I hate it when I do that. You probably do too. Alright, so this red here fired into that green position there with steady fire. I do have a diamond in there. So this poor sap takes a step loss. He's down to two steps. Ugh, Sarabachi. And he was already disrupted, so I don't need to re-disrupt it. Alright. So that is that red position. That red position is taken. That red position up there is too far away to do anything. So that's it for red. Blue. Blue. Intense field of fire. So one of these blue guys, neither of which are a diamond, but one of them will get hit nonetheless. So, that happens. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to turn 64 or victory, whenever that would happen, simply because I might just flat out lose. <laughs> I'm, I might take too many step losses by like turn 10, and then I'm just screwed. Uh, and then this will be a short video series. Hopefully not. Hopefully, I mean, once I get turn seven, hopefully I can start doing the whole moving the units to reserve and replenishing them and all of that. I got plans for that on how to try to maximize that. I think. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. All right. So that was blue there. Uh, I got that one. Yeah. So that's it. All right. Uh, wasn't great, but it could have been worse. Second event phase does not start until game turn seven, so it's my turn. It's my turn. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? All right, well, this guy needs to be dealt with. So I can take, I would love to be able to move in, and that's where this guy getting hit sucks. Uh, because I would love to be able to hit him with one guy and then move in with the next because I don't have any units in reserve, so I don't have to worry about that uh, replenishing. Now, if I hit him, I could move in with this guy because I could technically take it's from game turns two to six. Its movement is two. 
Uh, but I would be moving over this. Yeah, no, I couldn't because I can't move over the bluff. That's only a one movement. I have to stop, I believe. I believe over a bluff. Uh, bluff hex side. Uh, yes, I'll stop. Oh, look. I've been thinking about that all wrong. Oh, non -tank, yeah, non-tank units may cross the hex size if they begin adjacent and may only move one hex the phase they cross. Yeah, so I would have to stop when I move over anyway. So since I can't move this way, I can only move this way, but I can't do that because then I have an overstack. But if I did that, I could just disrupt the guy that hit. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just hit guy, this guy with the eight, and we'll we'll figure the rest out later. All right. So this guy's getting hit with the eight strength unit. He's a one, but he's a close combat. So I got an eight to one. He's disrupted, but I'm gonna have to jump in there next turn in order to get this guy. All right. So I could move this guy up. Alright, so this guy has gone. Let me move him cockeyed. I could move my headquarters up here and then jump in with both of these units next turn and do close combat at the end of the action phase so that I can use units from both hexes. I think that's how that works. That's probably what I want to do, because this guy will give me actually two more cards than the one guy will do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this guy here. Plus, you know, it gives me a free spot for people to get off the beach and stuff. All right. So that happened there. Uh, this one right here, my headquarters got hit last turn. That's right. My headquarters got hit. That is not right. That shouldn't happen. All right. So these guys are not attacking over a bluff hex side. So... I can hit this guy and I can make both of these guys fire into there as well with, uh, I'm only going to have, well, how work, work. all right, so if an infantry with four steps attacking not adjacent, I have machine gun, I have browning, I have mortar, I have radio, so I gotta hope that that guy is one of those. Needs a flamethrower, a mortar, a browning, a machine gun, or a radio. Otherwise, he's not. Okay, so I got two, and then I've got 11 half is five and a half. So, so, so I'll have eight strength jumping into there. That's what I gotta do. All right, so these guys attacking in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I need a machine gun. And a radio. I have both of those with these units. So that guy's toast. Sweet. Alright, so unfortunately though, I don't have. I should have. Dang it. I should have maybe just attacked with this guy. That would have given me a strength of six. Ugh. And then I could have, because there's no bluff hex side there, I could have rushed this guy in here. But I didn't, and I didn't know, you know, weapons-wise and whatever, I figured I needed the strength. So we'll do that next turn, as long as I don't kill that guy, and then he comes back when I try to do it. Ah, All right, so he's gone. Now this guy. I got disrupted units, disrupted units. So I've got three. I got eight. I know this guy is four. These guys over here would be attacking over a bluff. Actually, they're not in its field of fire, so they can't attack. All right, that's the whole line of sight thing that Yost put in play. Basically, if 
they can't see you, then you can't see them, and vice versa. If they can see you, then you can see them. These guys, if you look, can you see? Am I pointing in the right direction? Yeah. Cause, all right. So if you look where I just took that, all right, I put my little dots in there myself, right? There is no yellow dot right there. So these guys can't see over this bluff hex side to hit these guys. So therefore, these guys can't see over that bluff hex side to hit that guy. So that means I have a total of eight. And I can't remember what units he needs. I think he needs flanking, which I am. Uh, so I would have a two to one with units or with, with, with weapons. And I would be able to, at the very least, disrupt them and reveal them. So I guess that's something. I guess that's something. And I, got, I, I can't sit back and not do anything on that guy. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to attack with this guy. I'm going to attack with that guy. So that is eight strength coming in to this guy here. My four strength needs flank and mortar. I have flank and mortar. So that is two to one. So he is revealed and disrupted. Uh, means he won't fire on me, which is good. These guys will come undisrupted next turn, and then I can jump in there and uh, defeat him. That also means since I didn't kill him, that I can freely move into green next turn without having to worry about him popping up. All right, so these guys are used, these guys are used. Uh, all right, so now let's come over to my purple guy. And those, I think, are the only three attacks I can do, and then everything else is gonna be movement. All right, so here I have this dude. Uh, I have a three strength unit and an eight strength unit, which will be four coming in there. So that is seven strength. That is the best that I can do. So I'm gonna have to take it, because these guys got hit. The guys underneath them got hit last turn. So, all right. So seven strength coming into this guy. Whoa. He's a two, he's a flamethrower. Have a flamethrower with my HQ. So that is seven to two, which is three and a half. Have the, have the strength, have the weapons, he gone. All right, so that was good. That was good. Got rid of that, now I can jump in there. And actually, it's turn five. So in turn six, I will actually have that. So if I was just playing scenario one, I think the victory conditions are uh, hold a position on um, the airport and hold a position in sector three. I don't know. I'm not going to look at it now. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm not stopping anyway. All right. So now we're going to move some people. We've got a lot of movement that needs to happen. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, these guys can't move, but they're losing their disruption. And I really, I gotta get that guy out of dodge. Um, okay, this stack here, uh, this guy loses his disruption, but he can't move. And that's the guy I really need to get away. I really need to get him away because if I draw, if I draw a triangle next turn, he's gone and he's my first catastrophic loss. And I don't think I can take any catastrophic losses from turns one through six. So that's danger right there. That is super danger. Um, but he's only he's only one pit, so I could on a steady. No, if it's a steady and it's a triangle, I have to hit him. I can't hit my HK. So, all right. Well, I might move another triangle on top of him just to take a hit, just in case. That might be a... Okay, that guy's already gone. Uh, those guys are disrupted. Gosh, so I can't... I can't... I uh, can't move anybody in there. All right, so I'm going to have to move my HQ off of here just so I can move some units. All right, so... Uh, can't remember during the terrace. Units starting on terrace may only move one hex unless they have been bulldozed. 
Bulldozing doesn't happen until turn seven. So I'm in, that is Terrace right there. So I can't move, oh wait a minute. Is that, or is that level one? That's level one, right here. I don't have those brown lines in there. So that's level one. So, but that's Terrace, that's the problem. All right, because I was hoping, I was hoping to get one of these units over into here and another one into here. Ah. Another one into here. Um, so I could start getting units closer. I don't think I can do that. So I think maybe. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think maybe. <laughs> help. Help. I need someone with really tiny fingers to help me run this game. Um, I think maybe I wasted too much time getting people over there. I could be wrong. Ah, see, these guys are disrupted. So the only guy that can move over there is this dude, and he is not a triangle. Let me see. That guy can still work. Let me see if I got a triangle down here. I do, I do, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take this triangle guy, he's not disrupted, I'm gonna move him up here to protect the other triangle guy in case I take triangle fire. He will be the one that takes it, and my other guy will not die. All right, this tank, this tank can move. I don't know if I want him to. Um, yeah, I, and I don't wanna move there. I wanna come around that way. I gotta kill this guy, and I gotta come around that way. And I feel like, I feel like I'm going to be behind on the whole Sarabachi thing because I don't have units in place. But is what it is. Alright. So I will move this guy here. Oh, I can just move him freely. I don't have anybody in the reserve, so I'm not going to worry about that whole move one at a time thing right now. Alright, so those guys go over a bluff, so they come here. They're going to start marching on this dude. Uh, and then these guys will come up in here. Those guys fire on that so they can't do anything. Um, this stack here. Let's see, my tanks can't move over the bluff yet. So my tanks have got to stay where they are. I got nothing to barrage. So they're going to do nothing this turn. I got, hey look, I have a couple of units that are together that are supposed to be together. Alright, so I got these guys coming over here. And then they, he can control this guy next turn. I don't know where my other 26 unit is. I'm going to have some serious problems figuring out the whole command thing and trying to get that all right starting turn seven. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move some people and I'm gonna fire with some people that I probably won't technically be able to. But uh, you know everything's so overstacked and everything is so um, such a mess that it's just extremely hard to keep together. And again I guess I guess that is how it was. So, all right. So I've got this one step loss guy that is a, a 126. His buddies are here and here, so he'll move here, so he stays close. And I have an engineer that I can move up as well. No, I have two tanks there already, so I can't do that. That will be overstack. Um, he can move over here. That's what I'll do. He'll move over here with this tank and this these two units here. Where was this guy? Oh, this guy was on top of here, I believe. No. Where was this guy? <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, I don't know. I think I moved this guy. You know, that guy fired. So I haven't moved anybody from there. So these two here haven't done anything. Okay. Uh, this stack loses its disruption. 
or at least the top guy does. The other guys are disrupted from this turn. Um, these guys are disrupted from this turn. Alright, uh, so... Alright. These guys are all going to move over this bluff into here so that I can... I really want my heavy weapons to start going that way. But I gotta get these guys off the beach. So they gotta move here. And these guys are gonna move here. <laughs> Jeez, these guys lose their disruption. So that's okay. Well, one of them does, the other ones. Alright, that guy's still disrupted. And again, I don't know if I'm doing that disruption right or not, but. Uh, these guys are in a line here. They can move. These guys could actually. No, they're going over a bluff, so we'll pop them there. We'll just do everybody moves up one. How's that sound? Um, now these guys, I gotta make sure they end up going that way. So actually, I'm gonna leave them here. I'm gonna move these fourth division units up in here just so that I've got fourth division all covering this purple area. It's gonna be a moot point turn seven because I'll start garrisoning things but uh, this guy will move there so that these guys uh, actually yeah I'll move these guys here the engineer <coughs> excuse me engineer can come off come up here in case I need support Heavy weapons uh, can, in fact, move here, and I can stack my tanks there. So that's four units there. Uh, concentrated. He's disrupted. I should be able to kill him next turn. I shouldn't have to worry about it. All right, uh, these guys lose their disruption. That is their turn. Ugh. All right, these guys are scattered all over the place. I got a 223 here. There's a 223 headquarters. Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, Let's see. Do I want to start moving up? I probably should start moving up in here. I got. I got to take this. These guys out pretty dang quickly, if I can. So, and the problem is here. When I'm able to move into here, uh, can you see me? Yeah. When I'm able to move into that purple spot right there. Um, green, or green. Uh, sector three does have units. So that is a 50-50 chance, chance that that's going to populate. I can't do it this turn anyway, so I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so uh, all right, so these are two star units. So that's not bad. Move those into the steady, and the only way they can hit these guys is if I draw a star. Well, how does that work with black? If I draw a star, I think it's if I draw a star, it's colors within three spaces of the black. So like if I drew a yellow star on the next turn, then they can hit because there's a yellow way over there. Alright. So <clears throat> but I gotta hope that, that doesn't happen. Alright, so they move there. Um, these guys will move out as well. Because I just gotta start I gotta start charging. It's it's what got what has to happen all right so let's see I got a tank in there so I can't move that tank the tank oh I forgot to use my replacement points at the beginning of this okay 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 
So let's use it on this guy. No, he just got it. No, he can't. He just became undisrupted. So let's use one on this guy. I got four points I can use. Two for each division. So I'll give this guy a step loss back here, since he's super intense. And then I'll give my poor little dude underneath here a step loss back. So I still got his, his big buddy protector there. But that makes me feel a little bit better. All right, so I used two points for fifth division, which will mark off on the... Uh, once again, I'm not showing you what I'm doing. So, yeah, I forgot to use my replacement points. I used one on the green here uh, that had just become undisrupted, and I used one on my poor little one-step guy underneath this unit um, to get him back up to two. So they're not in as much peril as they used to be. All right. So now I got two fourth division points I can use. I use these guys to attack. This guy was hit and disrupted this turn, so that can't happen. Uh, so somewhere in here, I don't know that I have any that have two. Oh, this guy right here. This guy right here has two step losses. And he's going to lose his disruption this turn anyway. So I will do that. I will give him a step back. That is one point. And then it says of any kind. So I'm going to give this tank, who is not in Field of Fire anymore, I'm going to give him a step back. So I used a fourth division. And then I used a tank replacement. So, there. I moved those back on my little chart up there. And so there's that. So I forgot that during the HQ phase. My bad. But also, my game. So I'm giving myself permission to go back and do that. I did not affect anybody who was in any fire firefights. So, should be good. Alright, so moving all these guys. Um... Need to get some more dudes off the beach. Let's, let's, well, those guys are coming in on blue too, so I don't want to move into here. Uh, that guy I gave a step loss back to, he became undisrupted, so that's all he could do. Um, I got a free spot here with these tanks. I got nothing else coming in on blue one. So, uh, that guy's disrupted, can't move anyway. Those guys are disrupted, can't move anyway. Uh, but they lose their disruption. And then these guys will still be... No, they won't be overstacked. Alright, so i got two engineer units. I can move one engineer unit up on top of that tank. I can want to put the tank on top of that though so that I know he's there. Okay. And then this guy, this engineer... I'll just move him over here, just because he can. And then these guys just became undisrupted, so they can't do anything. But no one's going to be landing on top of them, for once. Alright, I think that's everybody. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like everybody that I can move or attack with. <clears throat> so that ends my phase. Now, <clears throat> Japanese artillery doesn't happen until turn 6. Japanese raid doesn't happen until turn seven. End of turn. End of turn. There we go. All right, so that's how we stand after five turns. I still feel like there's not a whole lot of spread. Everyone's just there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, I've done decent, but I don't feel hugely successful yet. Um, I haven't taken any. Oh, these guys can still move, but I don't think they have anywhere that they can go. So I'll just keep them there. Um, I still I'm not close enough to Suribachi, but I'm not getting torn up by Suribachi yet. Other than those couple of units that I'm trying to save. Um, that wasn't all Suribachi. That was other things as well. Uh, I still have six positions or six Japanese units in Sector Two. Some of which are several turns away from me. Well, not. I mean, yeah, it'll take me some time to get up there under under 
fuel the fire. I can probably rest this way a little bit because these are not heavy, but then I have bluffs to jump over and so it'll slow me down anyway. So uh, it's going to be a slog getting up there. Once I can take care of sector 2, hopefully if I can take care of sector 2 by the end of turn 10 and be making some progress on these black positions, maybe I'll be okay. But I don't feel like, I know I'm not as far as the other guy who was making uh, videos, um, but part of that I think is because he was rushing with his uh, headquarter units and um, not hitting them. I'm not doing that because I know they can get hit. So, um, trying to take this slow and methodical. I've, I got 64 turns. Let's let's see if it pays off. All right, that's that.